Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and I have a little haul that I did from Tina here on YouTube. Her YouTube name is 1967 Tina Bina, and she has a Zibit shop. Yeah, Zibit shop, Tina Bina. Let's see, what's it called? Tina Bina, Zibit.com. So I'll show you a few things that I got from her store, and I got these pretty purple flowers for a project I'm really working on. Oh, and I did my nails. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to show someone. They wanted to see my nails when I got done with them. But um, before I finish that, let me tell you real quick. I used the um, mosaic nails that I got from eBay. And this is what the tips look like. I'm getting to focus. You see, there's like ridges and things like that. But um, once you put the acrylic and all that over it, it smooths itself out. So I used that um, on my nails. And then I made, this is the mix that I made. This is like a silvery, um, iridescent, whitish, I guess looks reminds me of icicles. But this is the mix that I made. And um, just mix it with the acrylic when you um, are applying it to the tips. And this is what it looks like with the um, acrylic in it. Looks like it's dull, but it's not. Once the acrylic dissolves, the um, the shine comes back, as you can see. But they're really sparkly. I like them. Okay, so back to my haul. I got those. Open this up. Okay, and I got these little purple flowers here. These are so pretty. And these here, like a peachy color. I don't know if you guys can hear my daughter in the background, but she's in the other room watching something on TV. I have no idea what it is. And then I picked up these doves. These are so cute. I wanted these um, for a project. They're like little doves, and there's six in a pack. I got those. And I got some trims from her. I got this white pearl drop trim. And then this black one is really pretty. I have not seen anything like this one. I always see this one where there's like the, the drop and then the pearl. But this one is just all the little drops, which are really pretty. Use that for a project. And then I also got some of this. This is like some sort of an applique, but this is what it looks like. I thought it was really cool. <coughs> Probably something you can make yourself, but um, I don't know. The lighting looks kind of dark over here, huh? I don't know if you can see that. It just looks dark to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see it. But it's just black. Um, like pearl drops and things like that. It doesn't make it any better, but you get the idea. That, and I also got some of this peachy colored. This is really pretty too. This trim here. You see the little flowers on it. And on camera it looks kind of yellow. But it's actually peach. It's a peach color. And let's see what else did I get. Something that's wrapped up. This is, oh, I hate to tear the paper, but I'm going to have to. This is the pretty fairy that I got from her shop. Isn't she gorgeous? And I got something on my nail. But I thought she was so pretty. And she's sparkly, and you can, um... 
Probably add something behind the wings if you want to change up the color a little bit. Or even color the um the body so that the light shines through it. So pretty. So my little fairy. I'm just gonna sit over here. <laughs> okay, what else did I get? I got one more thing in here. I'll use some trim. I also got some hair. This one here. This I love using this when I'm doing my mixed media like canvases. I love to um, edge the edge of like the canvas with this. It gives it like the, a pretty finish. But this is like a um, a powder pink. It looks kind of pale on camera. If I can get the focus. That's really pretty. You can probably see it better down here than me trying to focus it. But this is what it looks like. Really pretty. And then I got a piece of this. It's like a mix between a red and a burgundy. It's not quite bright red. But you can see what it looks like. And then this really pretty one here. I love this one. This is also in um, Tina's shop. Really pretty. And that was all that I got from her shop. Um, oh, she sent me this. This is like a little thank you. And these really pretty satin roses. They're going to focus for me, huh? There we go. Those are really pretty. And if you're interested in checking out Tina Bina's um, Zibit Shop, this is her information. Zibit.com. So check her out if you get a chance. She has some really good prices. And then I'm gonna move this stuff here for now. I'm gonna hang up my trims on my trim wall. Well, the beaded ones anyway. I have a beaded trim wall that I hang them on. And then I got one more package I'll share real quick. I'm only at like seven minutes. So I'm trying to get quick. Now this came in the mail today. I didn't open it up yet. I think this is some, I want to say it's prize mail because I don't remember ordering anything. I'm trying to see if there's a card in here. I don't see a card, so I'm not for sure. Unless there's a card in one of these. But this is the, the name that it's addressed from. Jill Bottler. Not sure who that is. Um, I don't know the YouTube name, so I'll do some research on that. So I bought these first. Oh, oh! I'm sorry. I know who that is now. <laughs> That's love my two pugs. I believe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill. And you sent me an inbox, I believe. Yeah, you sent me an inbox. And at first I was like, wait a minute, who is this? Okay, so, yeah. Love my two pugs. I'm sorry, Jill. When I opened this, I, it, it just dawned on me. But this is my um, ATC swab that's hosted by um, Poet Spice. This is really pretty. Look at the fire flames on there. And the stickles on the um, fireplace. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And it jingles. Yeah, love my two pugs. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. <laughs> I've had a rough day today. I'm get things ready for Thanksgiving. It's never easy. Oh, this is adorable. 
I love these little ornaments up here. The little Santa Claus. It says Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm going to put these upstairs. There's like a, um, a curio in the front room, the dining area, where I have some of my other um, things that I've made for Christmas and Thanksgiving. I'm going to put them up there. Was the night before Christmas. This is really pretty. I love these little presents on here. So cute. And the little ornaments going across the tree. That's so pretty. Like it might be like stickles maybe. Or glitter glue. But that's pretty. And the back has these little ornaments. Oh. And she sent me some goodies. I love these bags. It's going to be good to alter. I'm sorry, Jill. I was really thinking hard when I saw this package. I'm like, I don't... I've, I've been doing really good. I have not been doing any hauls lately. So I'm like, wait a minute. What is this? This is cute. It's a penguin. Notepad. Very pretty. <laughs> um, These probably came... The Studio 8 ones. My, things that Michael's carry. And some really pretty red rhinestones. I have none of this. So thank you so, so much. This is a Tim Holtz um, tinsel twine. Really pretty. I've been looking for some of this. But my Michaels doesn't carry it. And I wasn't able to find any at Tuesday morning either. So thank you so much for that, Jill. And then these stickers... Uh, it just says Nicole up here. But it has these different sayings. A candy cane, a tree, peppermint, snowflakes. Cute little penguin. And Merry Christmas. Aw. Thank you so much, Jill. I really appreciate it. So, so much. For the extra goodies. And thank you for being my partner. Well, we didn't have a, a choice in the partner part. But I'm glad you're my partner. Because I love your ATCs. These are really cute. So, I'm going to go upstairs right now after this video and put them up. So, you guys, I thank you all for watching. And, um, I think that's it for right now. I have some projects I'm working on, but they're not ready yet for video. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.